We're here this morning because the government's revealed figures showing that there were 24,000 excess winter deaths in 2011 to 2012. And the World Health Organization estimates that 30% of these deaths are down to cold homes. It's George Osborne's policies and the big six energy companies profiteering that are forcing the most vulnerable to choose between heating and eating. Osborne's cut 26% of the funds available to help those in fuel poverty and his obsession with expensive gas power, which has been further expanded in today's energy bill announcement, is the main factor driving up energy bills to deadly highs. You do get your heart in your mouth when you get one of these things. You just wondered how much you've used. It's very hard to work out that people pensions won't meet these bills and certainly if they want to eat well then they're going to have to cut down how much heating they give themselves or vice versa and we now understand that many of these people are not going into these big shopping malls to shop they're just going there to keep warm um, for the duration of the day otherwise they're going to sit at home freeze and be made very ill my central heating goes off at half past eight and so my coal fire is a very good supplement and I stay in here and I live in here in the winter my whole life circulates in the winter by not building up a big bill keeping warm is the most serious thing to an elderly person uh, because elderly people succumb to pneumonia uh, they, they succumb to circulatory problems and, and they're subject to hypothermia very quickly and very easily I'm in a situation here because of my health with very serious asthma where I can't, I really cannot afford to get too cold because one of the outcomes of me getting too cold a few years back when Millie was a baby was that I nearly died of pneumonia in UCH hospital. So I have to uh, economise somewhere. So we're, you know, if the bills just come, I will reduce the amount of food that comes into the house or playtime stuff for Millie or toys for Millie, presents for Millie, Christmas. So when it gets too cold, one of the things we also do is just get into a warm bath, heat our bodies up and then wrap ourselves up and you know sit on the sofa warmly like that, cosy. If I didn't have to worry about electricity and gas bills is that I would eat a lot better and both of us would actually eat a lot healthier. You know, because at the moment we're eating a lot of junk and, you know, processed food, because, you know, we can't just eat whatever we want every day. I would like to ask EDF why they keep hiking the bill, actually. It seems to be this kind of attitude that, oh, well, if, you know, 30 people die a year of, you know, fuel poverty, it's all right. It's like just another statistic. I mean, Jesus. It's not 30, it's 8,000. 8,000 people a year? 